Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Shadowrun. Let's play Shadowrun with Final Show Films. I'm Sasaku. I'm Units. And I'm Shadow Chorus. And he we're probably playing. can't be heard because he's sitting way away from the mic. Yeah, I mean he can be, but it's really quiet. So, so, so come, forward. be friends. Move forward. And I sit backwards in a chair. Yep. We need to. We we need to have a bigger room with less noise and a couch to do this properly. But until that point, we're doing it like this. So. <clears throat> Mm, excuse me. When last we left off, we were after zebra meat. Yes, we were. Um, and we were and we were rocking a kick-ass outfit. You appear to be augmented. No, nope, we're not. No, we're just we're wearing a gas mask. We're wearing a sweet gas mask. Refurbish flowers for sale. Synth juice Synth for sale. Juice. Just fab today. Um, sir. Paco. Hey, Paco. Hey, we heard about you. You're a bit of a loser. With a lot of potential. The kid in front of you sports the trademark yellow of the Cutters gang. Young, clean-shaven. He stands like he owns the street and everyone on it. He seems distracted, though, glancing around with increasing agitation. He looks over at you as you approach. Uh, did, did he just refer to us in a in a very rude manner? Yes, yes Dandelion Eater. Dandelion Eater is an elf derogatory. Is an derogatory I'm aware of that. Elves. I was making sure that the audience <clears throat> knew. Watch yourself. Watch. Hmm. He's Hispanic. Which it's means it's that it's I it's should, it's under no circumstance, do his voice. Watch yourself, Dandelion Eater. That's more Irish. I don't know where <laughs> it went. Watch yourself, Dandelion Eater. What do you want? <laughs> that's straight the Watch worst. yourself, Dandelion Eater. What you want? That's, 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 not, that's, 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 that's not even that's better. That's also not. worse. Not. What we're saying no, is... Spanish. This is not an easy line of dialogue to get into a Spanish accent with. What we're I, I feel like he may be Hispanic... In I, heritage, he he, he, yeah, he, just as much as you guys are Hispanic in heritage. I mean, it's true. <laughs> yes, it doesn't look too terribly Hispanic. His name is Paco. His name is Paco, but that your your name and your and your physical heritage are two different things. Okay. You wouldn't happen to be looking for a coyote, would you? That's none of your fragging business. Who the hell are you? Oh, well, we got three coyote. F we got three karma for asking about coyote. But well, I am looking for a coyote. Uh, I'm Sasaku. I'm looking for a coyote. I just some questions. I'm the one who's going to pretend you have better manners. I need to find Coyote. Relax, we're on the same team. I'm since Taco was just a union. Your girlfriend's gone missing. And I, I feel like her. we should put him off edge. Relax, we're on the same team. The tough guy swagger seems to drain out of Paco. The cutter is gone, and before you stands a kid in a yellow jacket that doesn't quite fit. Coyote's missing? Oh man, that would explain. She's supposed to meet me here over an hour ago. Look, sorry for getting your face like that. What else do you know? If she's missing, I need to find her. You know a fixer named Mr. Delilah? Coyote was, Coyote was meeting with him a few days ago. I know of him, sure. Blake doesn't know any cutters to. Blake doesn't allow any cutters to take side gigs, though, so I got no reason to deal with him. He doesn't say anything about taking new work. <clears throat> wait a minute. Drek, I know where she went. Damn, why couldn't she wait? Damn it. Paco, slow the fuck down. Slow your roll. Where'd she go? That's, that's not what the dialogue says. I know it's not. I was improvising. Oh, okay. I'm an actor, you see. Yes. Uh, the Royale Apartments. The landlord, Stevie J, runs a drug ring out of that hellhole. Coyote grew up there, doesn't like to talk about it much. He's been looking for a way to settle the score with that guy for years. A few days back, I heard Mr. Lotto was looking for some runners to steal some sort of item out, of from, out, out from under Stevie J's nose. She wants to take the job, I'm sure of it. Then if his thugs caught her, I'm going over there. You coming? Heck yeah. Uh, why don't we ask him about the, the, uh, the, the meat? One more thing. Coyote address has a receipt for zebra meat from a place called Maury's Meat Market. Ever heard of it? Zebra meat? What? Look, the shop's just down the block if you want to check it out. But I'm going to I'm going to the Royale, with or without your help. I'll help you, but you better be able to hand yourself a fight. <laughs> of course I know my way into a fight. Stevie J better, better, better be ready for a world of hurt. Now let's, now let's get moving. The Royale is just a few blocks from here. What kind of weapon does he got? A baseball bat? I think. Let's mono melee this. First. Let's spend some karma. Let's spend some karma. We got some body last time. We we should probably learn how to duck. Or because we're very charismatic. But we can be even more charismatic. But we should probably be good. But we can be more charismatic. Actually, we should do this. Boop. And um, how about some? How about some more strength and? And we'll save the car. All right. Now, pretty strong for an elf. Yep, elves are not weaker than anyone else. Nope. 
Dog on a stick. Dog on a stick here. Oh, no, there's more. They're weaker than quite a number of other races, actually. No, they're they're weaker than trolls and orcs. orcs trolls, oni, and every other variation of, of orcs well, and trolls. Oni are trolls. Yes, they're, they're, they're weaker, weaker than, than trolls. Orcs and trolls. And they're as strong as humans and dwarves. Yeah. Relax, my man. My friend just has a question. You must be Maury. I look like a fat old man to you. I'm Manny. Maury's my dad. Now, what do you want? Uh, I just had to receive for an order to deliver me. So have it for me. I'll look it up. Yeah, I got it right here. Two days past the pickup time. Didn't think anyone was coming for it. Here, it's all yours now. That does not look like it's been refrigerated. I'll be leaving now. <laughs> Sir, what do you do with, with, with zebra meat? Officer Landers? Oh no, is that Coyote? This isn't happening. God damn it. Pull yourself together. Take a look. Is that her? No, it's not her. Thank God. <laughs> look, let's not hang around here too long, alright? Too many Lone Star pigs around here. It's too bad. Whatever happened here, I'm not going to let anything like this happen to Coyote. Well, let's go figure out what did happen here. Ah, another Ripper murder. The Ripper took her eyes. A tall, emotionless Lone Star officer blocks into the crime scene. Behind her, you spot the lively face of Organ Grinder's coroner, Dresden. This is an act of Lone Star investigation. Please step away from the barrier. See if we had taken that security etiquette. <laughs> uh, I'm here to see coroner Dresden. I'm here to see coroner Dresden. And who might you be? It's all right, officer. He's with me. Dresden steps up to the barrier with a warm grin. It's useful to have connections with crazy people. I mean, he's just a crazy dwarf, coroner. Are you a he? Yes. Okay. Try to tell under the mask. <laughs> We're an elf. It's hard to tell no matter what. <laughs> <laughs> so what brings you out here? Hot on the trail of the dead man's killer? Coincidence, believe it or not. I take it this I've stumbled across another Ripper murder? That's what it looks like. As you can see, the Ripper went for the eyes this time. Pretty clean work. I gotta hand it to him. Our Ripper knows what he's doing. Or she, I suppose. Hmm... Hmm. There seems to be a conspicuous man standing right hmm. here. Hmm. Any sign of magic use? A conspicuously placed elf. Yep. Uh, what do you know about the victim? Not much. She's been dead about three hours. Her name is Lucy Warden. Worked at the stuffer shack just around the corner. Looks like she was just leaving work when it happened. So she was subdued in some ways before hours were ruined. That's the same thing. There don't seem to be any signs of a struggle. Not a single bruise on her body. Yet she was clearly alive when the eyes were taken. Died of blood loss shortly thereafter. That's what knocked her out. I won't know until I can run the test back in the lab. Huh. Is that magic use? Now, that's an, now there's an interesting thought. No, nothing obvious, but I'm... No, nothing obvious, though. I'm sure when McCluskey shows up, he'll call in full magical forensics team, though, just to be sure. So the Ripper takes Sam Watts' liver and her eyes. Trophies of some sort, I suppose. Probably some symbolical significance to the ki killer. Beyond that, I couldn't speculate. Uh, that's enough questions. I figure if I help you out, there's a better chance of getting this scumbag off the streets a little sooner. McCluskey wants the Ripper in her cell. Sure, we couldn't care less if it takes another dozen murders. Good luck out there. Speaking of McCluskey, you should probably get going soon before he shows up. Nah. <laughs> you, over there. The elf standing before you might quite possibly be the ugliest elf you've ever seen. His meticulously clean lab coat, format jacket, and old-fashioned bow tie give him the look of an undertaker from centuries past. He notices you, your approach and looks in Locke's eyes with you, smiling a thin, unnerving smile. How much more like the Ripper could he look? This is either the Ripper or Red Herring. Hello there, stranger. Might I inquire, hmm. do you know which organ grinder's facility this body will be removed to? Wow, I didn't know <laughs> elves could be that ugly. <laughs> the elf's smile doesn't flicker. I'm sure there are a great many things you don't know, Elf. But never mind that. A good evening to you and your friend, the coroner. Okay. Let's talk to... Dresden! Dresden. That guy was creepy. Did you notice a particularly ugly elf standing over there? I like that that's our description for him. I mean, you know... Did you notice a fuck ugly elf standing over there? Huh? Where? He's gone now, but he was asking about the body, wondering which organ grinder's facility it might be taken to. Interesting. Well, there are those who might be interested in purchasing some of our parts, sure, but that's pretty poor from for, poor form to inquire at the site of a murder. An ugly elf, eh? I'll keep an eye out. Shouldn't be hard to spot if he comes back around. Okay. <laughs> that's enough questions. And then there's the cop. Officer Agu Officer Aguir. Aguire? Aguir. The plainclothes Lone Star officer before you sports a tacky hat and a crooked grin to match. So you're the one who's working for the dead man, eh? McCluskey warned us she might be sniffing around after the Ripper. Lucky for you, I got here before McCluskey. I'm Officer Greer. Pleasure to meet you. Now, seeing as this crime scene's going nowhere fast, what can I do for you? What can you tell me about the murder that took place here? 
Not much, really. We know it was about three hours ago, and we know that her eyes have been surgically removed. Didn't need Dresden to figure that much out. He's been looking at the body, though, so he might know more. Me? I've been scanning the rest of the scene and looking for witnesses. No luck so far. Damn Ripper might as well be a ghost. Thank good. He doesn't see eye to eye with McCluskey. <clears throat> Mainly because Miss Cluskey's an idiot. Let's say McCluskey and I have conflicting interests. You actually want to uphold the law. Or Mc... not. Or just, you know, they separately want to be successful. Oh, well, you know. Do you leads on the Ripper that I should know about? Ha! Huh. Plenty if you ask McCluskey, but the truth is, we're as clueless as you probably are. He's a lot better mannered than McCluskey. Hey, hold on a moment. You haven't put a donation in for the Lonely Orphans Fund. Oh, I see. The Lonely Orphans Fund? Yeah, you see. You make a, contrib- a contribution to the fund, I put you on a list and let you know the next time we find any orphans that you might be interested in. Ah. Uh. Well, I'm always interested in finding out about my new orphans. About any new orphans you discover. Excellent. Shall we say 300 new yen? Even 100 new yen would make a big difference for an orphan these days. Yeah, well, some orphans have more expensive tastes than others. 200, you can take it or leave it. It's 100 or nothing. You're lost then. I don't have 200 new yen. I have 165 new yen. Darn it, we just bought this stupid outfit. Oh well. Fuck off! <laughs> you are not a crow. It's not, I know. That's I'm not, not what he said. <laughs> <laughs> That's what crows say. What does the crow say? Fuck off! No, crows are a lot more polite than that. Um, I've met some pretty rude crows in my life. <laughs> the art before you wears a standard stuffer shack shirt before ravens. you get up. Yeah. The uniform is well kept and well fitted, but the tear but the tears streaming down his large crooked face do not do little to improve his appearance. He does not seem to notice your approach. I take it you knew the victim. <laughs> yeah, what's it to you? My condolences. Were the two of you close? Thanks. Sorry. We're just not used to folks being too friendly around here. We all wipe some tears away with a dirty napkin. Yeah, we were pretty close as co workers go. Blind Lucy and I worked here at the shack for three years. Fuck. What is it? Her name was Blind Lucy. Yeah, and the ripper took her eyes. Blind Lucy? Well, Lucy wasn't completely blind, but she was legally blind. She had to wear these huge glasses and hold things right up to her face. But you got new eyes about a year ago. Uh huh. I see. Pun very much intended. Lucy loved the worst puns. That one was one of her favorites. I guess you can see why. How did she get these eyes? No, she wouldn't talk much about it. Just called it her stroke of good luck. So is this Ripper a Repo Man? Repo Man! Repo Man. Man. See anyone strange in the store lately? Because I can totally see Sam Watts needing a new liver. <laughs> I see where it's every day. It's a stuffer shack. But no, nothing usual. What's a stuffer shack? They never tell us. I'm going to assume it's a fast food joint. But I don't what? Know. It also might be. Like Taco Bell, tacos. Burger King, burgers. Stuffer shack. It, it may have something to do with taxidermy? Don't think so. It's a restaurant. Is it? It is a restaurant. Okay. Confirmed it's a restaurant. Because you stuff things in your face and you go to the shack to get the stuff. Stuff or shack because you stuff yourself at the shack. Maybe it's just like a make your own burrito thing. <laughs> stuff this burrito. Well, it's Stuffer Shack. Fill this burrito with stuff. Stuff this burrito with Phil. Wait. What'd Phil ever do to you? Ooh, oh, why don't we do talk to Dresden about be like, hey, by the way. Oh, wait. No, sorry. By the way, she recently had her eyes replaced. Uh-huh. Got her necklace. What about bite marks on her arm? Completely unrelated. Pierce and wild dogs dragged the body out out here from an alley sometime after her death. Oh. Well. Alright, that's all we got. It was a good thought. Do, 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 fill this man with stuff. Fill this elf with karma. See, even the portrait looks like it's a woman. The portrait looks pretty gender neutral. It does, but like, just... I the thing about elven faces! Are you racist, sir? What we're saying is... In, unless they are... Like a JoJo's character level of brick, you think they're female. 
No, that face specifically. It's just gender neutral. I mean, what what, did, what have you? Looks pretty masculine to me. Yeah. See that face to me. The, you mean the gas mask? Yeah. Yeah. It's a very masculine gas mask. It's a masculine mask. It's, it's a mask, Yelin. I'm going to have to defenestrate you. I'm going to have to build an expansion on the top of your house from which to defenestrate you from. All right. From, from you which do to that. defenestrate you from. That was repetitive, if redundant, you, and repetitive. If you if you build the second story, I will allow you to defenestrate me. I feel like you win in that arrangement. <laughs> Happy to help. Okay. I mean, you made the offer. No, that is a well-armed junkie. Well, don't you have a shotgun? That's a hobo with a shotgun. <laughs> uh huh. <coughs> well, that was kind of us. I just so he won't shoot us. <laughs> All right, I'm ready. All right, we're going to find out what's in the Royale Apartments next time on Let's Play Shadowrun with Final Show Films. Say goodbye, everybody. Meow. Goodbye.